Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find for New Order as Guangdong. Let us continue on from we last left off. So, do we want to subsidize the launch? 50, I mean, I think we, we have to at some point, so we might as well subsidize now. Get that going. We've almost, almost, almost have completed our production uh, testing. Almost. The truck carrying the Lee family abruptly stopped in front of the drab building complex. There was a couple of strained and murky windows, provided a glimpse into the conditions within, with rows of rusting old bunk beds and mildew infested walls. The facility's foreman, a Japanese man of sword statue, stepped forward and uh, crassly demanded the Lee family get out um, and settle, brandishing his uh, tunshion. Hi, the younger brother, pay no heed to the unsubtle threat. What gives you the authority to dictate what we do? You people forcibly dragged us out of our home, and now you expect us to follow your rules. The foreman immediately looked amused, before striking Hal across the face with his sunshun. Uh, Chun saw red and stepped forward. He finally heard his mother imploring him not to do anything rash, before he slapped the foreman on the side of the face. The foreman dragged Chun by his collar onto the street, and the two trading blows in the fading uh, dusk light. A passing police officer rushed over, reprimanding the foreman for treating workers in such a way. The foreman, eyes bludging, spat mercilessly at the uh, policeman's face before storming back to the dormitory, slamming a door in, his face, in their faces. You better not get in any more trouble around here, the officer said, wiping saliva off from his face. Come on. The cheapest tenements in town are this way. If you sell everything, you might just muster enough cash to get a little place. Chun's mother, May, uh, profusely thanked the police officer as the family followed behind. Chun glanced at the officer's badge, unsure whether to be thanked or curse him for getting in between him and the detestable foreman. Let's see, are we getting our rifles now in our trucks? The thing is, the experimental infantry equipment we're never actually going to make ourselves. We're at 36% strength, which is which is pretty bad. We can't have our unit die. Because if this unit dies, I don't believe we get another one. And obviously that would be pretty bad for us. This really does not fill up very fast at all, does it? Okay, Turkey has won the Italian-Turkish War. That's fine. I guess we make even more rifles, because I kind of think I have to. What are we not- well, I guess we're not milled at baking the experimental rifles, huh? Okay, so we can ignore you. I guess we can get, like, a doctrine. Um, I guess organization goes up? Sure. I mean, that's not bad. Not that I think it's going to matter too, too much anyways. Check the budget. GDP is going to grow by 0.4%. I love to see it, because we have... Only a few more months to actually get this finished. GDP growth actually has gone down a little bit, which is unfortunate. Cool, cool, cool. Good morning! It's 8 a.m. Japanese Standard Time, 7 a.m. Canton Time, and it's time for the morning news. My name is Sagarawa Sekiro, uh, bringing you the latest developments of Guangdong from our studio inside Canton Government Media Complex. The Japanese government has announced its continuing steadfast support for Guangdong administration, the Prosperity Sphere Jewel in southern China. Before we begin, a message from Azicho Corporation, our trusted sponsor and the undisputed inventor. Perhaps at this very moment, uh, some of our citizens are tuning in for the first time in our new TV sets from this year's product launch. Uh, a most encouraging sight indeed. Our annual festivities has something for everybody, kosher residents in the home islands who are alike, uh, from washing machines to refrigerators to innovations beyond the wilds of your imaginations. A better life and a better world brought to you by Mushihita. And now on today's news, however. Uh, Guangdong shines across the South China Sea as a hub of investment in beacon of prosperity. With an uh, estimated 105 uh, newly registered Cantonese Japanese over the past week. Chattering, uh, wait. What do you mean there's been a uh, strat stop? Okay, silence uh, stop around four seconds. Ah, yes. Forgive the interruption. It appears work options have resisted in certain indigenous uh, settlements, but why once again ensure every citizen at every available security uh, report has a forecasted total elimination of such inconveniences within the next month, as pledged by the Chief Executive Zuki Atechi in last week's Police Department press conference. Before we begin our next program, let us all faithful subjects of the Emperor reminisce in our solidarity in the face of countless adversaries that uh, bore fruits that we enjoy today. Let we uh, let us wish with the appearance of our hearts a thousand years of His Majesty to our perpetual pr uh, principles of unity and mutual assistance to reflect the triumph against the talents of imperialism and to the everlasting glory of the sphere. Okay, we'll enter the 1962 production cycle. Initial product quality is between 15 and 25. Well, we'll take you. So that should mean 
I think this becomes available? I can't click. I wish I can click this and it goes straight to you. Yes, our, our home air conditioner. We okay, so there's actually a lot of stuff in here. We have 100, only 100 days? Electronics progress. Average profitability is above average. Product interest is close to none. And it's underperforming. And there's no f focus right now on the market. Well, we probably want to sell to the Japanese market. Yeah, sell to the Japanese market. Um, what else do we have here? Research, prioritize. Well, what, what are you considered? It's open homes that alleviate hum uh, humidity. Target market is the Empire of Japan. 110% average. I guess we're a household electronic research. We'll get that going. What about product testing? Move factories to QA. This will decrease Chinese government support for the state by 3%. I guess we'll take you. Loan engineers from Japan, 15%. 25 political... I guess we'll loan some people from you. Let's test the product as well. And then for our interest. Pay off higher ranking contacts. And this is for interest? What's the interest at right, like right now? It's pretty bad, right? Close to none. 10%, 5%. Underworld contacts. Makes I mean makes them suppress negative press. Let's bribe TV channels, maybe? Oh, I guess it's I guess there's many corruption on this, huh? 60 million. Let's pay off some high contacts. And let's use some Japanese celebrities. I'm guessing these, do these all happen instantaneous? No, it looks like they do take a little bit of time. But it looks like it is going to be a pretty, um... I guess it is going to, uh... Air priority, air superiority, air supremacy. I guess we go par parody? Like, we're not really going to be able to fight too well, all things considered. Maybe we should actually target to the Chinese market instead. Because if it alleviates humi humidity, I'm assuming there's more humidity in southern China than there is in, um... We can push this forward. We have 97 days. I mean, that, that's quite a while. Give freebies to the Chinese. Let's take, let's just take all of this. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it costs a lot of money, but I'm hoping that maybe we'll pay dividends for us in some regard in the future. If, if we're lucky. We may or may not actually be lucky. I mean, corruption's still, like, not horrible. Again, I don't want my units to get killed. That would, that would be pretty bad for us. And I think we need to launch this rifle by the end of the year, or else we are... Definitely not going to hit our goals. Tropical storm has hit Thailand. Like, we're taking heavy casualties. So, it means it's not going to be easy for us to do. Okay, let's go security situation next. With an exasperated sigh, Chuzaki Nizuki lifted his head wearily from a stack of paper. His mind lingering on the contents as he glazed through the office window once more at the Pearl River. Uh, glimmering under the twilight, punctuated by distant silhouettes of freighters gliding lazily along the shores. Ever since his assignment to the uh, post not long ago, Suzuki has developed a habit for picturing the landmass beneath him as a gargantuan groaning freighter. His office building was his commanding tower, and the four companies, rocks, lurking beneath the water, threatening to sink it. But now, for the first time in office, Zaki felt confident that he had gotten a clear picture of the waterways. Navigating through all those dazzling novelties, Sony, Mushita, and uh, Fujito, 
I had to offer was no easy task. With the diligence of the statistics staff, as well as a bit of his own intuition, he uh, now at least was the uh, fittest release candidate in his mind. And those displaced peasants, unfortunate souls as some may claim, Suzuki simply couldn't bring himself to sympathize with the woes at the moment. The package of massive mineral yields plus cheap labor was simply too much of a godsend to pass up. The numbers don't lie after all. Suzuki shifted his gaze uh, back into Stack's reports, and before he knew, he was already back and were shuffling through the papers, scrambling down every last uh, minute comments on one page and instructing for tweaking on another. Only vessels built from impenetrable steel can weather the uh, heaviest of storms, and right now, Suzuki can uh, already see the steel plates falling into place as he stands tall and proud at the helm at the freighter named Guangdong. And it's readier now than it's ever been for its most glorious voyage. I mean, that's, that's nice and all. GDP, we need to get up to 23 points. So he does need like a billion, like 800 million more dollars, okay? That doesn't sound too crazy. Let's do some military austerity as well. And fresh out the passes, that does improve our GDP increase. Inflation is going up a little bit, but I mean, it's not really like too much I can do about that. Uh, as unfortunate as that is. What about you? Can I do anything here? Grid power... Not manually assign consumer goods. Okay. Can I at least get like four out of the five done? I will take, I'll take four out of five. But again, I can't let my unit die because I absolutely cannot actually replace them. Uh, so it is 62. I don't think we need like nuclear reactor. What about what about in here? Naval targeting. You're really ahead of time. So I guess we just go over like infantry tech. 1964 infantry tech. I mean that seems okay. Anti-aircraft weapons. Sure. Let's let's just get all this stuff researched. We'll we'll be more than okay with that. So what do you, my boy? What do you need right now? You need a lot of the experimental weapons. A uh, little bit of motorized, a little bit of support equipment. Do we need to buy more tr more guns? See if we can like stay in combat just for a little bit longer. We can maybe get this stuff done, but they're not happy with us. By the way, how does everybody feel about us at the moment? Public of China opinions at forty percent. Japan likes this decent amount. We could cut down on corruption a little bit. What about you get our GDP political power 1.4? He's not bad. It's, it's not it's not bad at all, actually. How many more days? How many more days until we get our guns? It doesn't actually say here immediately. And for you. Middling, average interest, targeting the Chinese market, 105% uh, profitability. I mean, that seems good. What else can we do here? Let's get let's bribe some TV. Can't do anything here though, unfortunately. The people of the pearl. Excuse me, Professor Kyoko's hand up, darted up uh, in the second row, as it always did. You say the Sujin as a demographic is a natural consequence of the state of Guangdong's formation. I struggle to understand just about it is natural. It would make even more sense if they were uh, made out of, say, an ethnic Japanese-Chinese hybrid. But even that doesn't seem to be the case. Sudi Haido's froze, his uh, gaze fixated on the pond of 50 heads before him. All Japanese faces, not one Chinese, sitting here in the Higher Education Institute erected upon Chinese soil. Indeed. What about this was natural? Ever heard of Koyogo? Uh, confirming no eavesdropper with an earshot? He sighed. The travesty of the language they cobbled up with the Japanese and Mandarin uh, made up in Manchuria is exactly what they've done here uh, with the Sujin. And you could even tell it from its name. Uh, he slowly leaned over the podium. Su, Mandarin for Pearl, and Jin, um, I lost where I was, Oni Oni for People. Smack them together and there you have it. A glistening new identity pulled out of the foreign ministry's ass. He smirked. For all citizens of the newborn nation, past, present, and future. Except the uh, Metsetsu and Katang armies, uh, people have uh, 27 years since the Russo-Japanese War to fabricate their uh, faith uh, comply. Guangdong, 12. 
Not enough for an ethnic hybrid to crossbreed itself into existence. And certainly not enough for the actual Chinese living on a soul to just give up on who they are. He paused. The Nanjing government has a, um, was obsessed with the idea back in 1950 as they were uh, in Wagnon's creation itself. But can you blame them? Sway to Gang Dong is natural, he looked around, surveying the pond of 50 shock faces before him, in the sense that Japanese uh, crusade against Western imperialism is natural, that the spoils of war we robbed from the liberated are natural. There. There's your answer. And a lovely update for Tokyo. The sun was setting. Orange soaked up the city of Canton as the uh, first lights are switched on for the coming night. Chizaki Suzuki sits in his office, filling out the last of his paperwork for the day. It is his report to Prime Minister Aino, the uh, one thing his career depends upon. His uh, mandate to bring Guangdong in line is to be fulfilled, but in this report and PM Inno's subsequent uh, response, uh, that will determine his next move. Putting the pen down, Suzuki uh, sits back. The last few uh, months have been busy for him and the government, constantly at risk of losing everything at once, and the situation is only worsened with his project. The revised labor standards ordinance, he rubs his temples, his nerves firing um, too rapidly in his mind to handle. He needs every ounce of support he can get, and then some. It is through Tokyo that he hopes to get support. It will take persuasion, he realizes, for the Prime Minister himself has been skeptical of his recent efforts. But long-term stabilization of Guangdong's needs, uh, Tokyo's full support, and for the situation is untenable as is. The corporates have acted on their own interests for far too long, and keeping it this way will only worsen. The Chinese population is simply too large, and the government too weak. And his argument uh, that... And is the argument that he lays out to uh, files spread out in front of him, he wonders himself, will it be enough? Okay, let's propose a revised uh, standard um, board here. So let's see. Sony, 45%. Suzuki supports this heavily. In total, 38 out of 100 seats support the ordinance. Okay. So maybe we'll get it done. Maybe we won't. We'll have to kind of wait and see. Force police prototyping. I like, are we forcing the police to use air conditioners? That's kind of funny. Because how are you, how's it at right now? Still good profitability. Middling, average. How many days do we have on you right now? 56. We can push the launch forward. I, I, I wouldn't mind that, actually. We'll increase profitability by 3%. We'll be pushed forward by 10 days. Sell to no Pacific market. But I don't think, like, Japan... I don't know how hot it gets in Japan. I, I know it gets really hot in southern China. Don't need to, I don't think I need to worry about you. I'm kind of more interested in getting our product testing up. 10%. Move white-collar workers. Police prototyping. Let's take you for now. 10% more... Uh, Boost sounds nice. And can I really just like get one of these filled up? Please. It's it's all I'm wanting. Okay, it's 510. So we get 20 C's from doing all these events. Okay. So let's go with uh Yushuda first. The proposal for the Rise Labor Standard Ordinance. Today in the Legation Council, uh, Chief Executive Zuki Techi introduced a bill without precedent in a short history of the state of Guangdong, or perhaps the entire prosperity sphere. The proposed Revised Labor Standard Ordinance is just the right amount to give workers a taste of tolerable treatment, keeping them docile at a reasonable cost. Within the proposal were guarantees of a maximum workdays and mandated days off, as well as guidances for increased scrutiny in Guangdong's firms about seeing to their enforcement. The Legation Council reaction was varied. But relatively peaceful compared to some of the more vigorous, as it were, sessions, which tend to be reminiscent of the old Polish parliament than anything. Ryako of Sony was cautiously receptive, saying that this was a necessary first step in building a more humane and therefore more profitable Guangdong. Majuti Masharu uh, was more uh, reticent, politely voicing his reservations and the stereotypical conservative concerns of where will we get the money, and what destabilizing events could this have? Uh, Yusuda merely nodded along with any Suzuki said, while uh, the Fujitsu uh, at once mocked Suzuki for prosing it and made up for supporting it, announcing the idea as nonsense and denying that there was even a need to resort to an ordinance in the first place. All told, the matter was peaceful. There was disagreements, but nothing theoretical took place. Excellent. So we're not in session right yet. 
27 out of 4. So you hate me. You hate me. I mean, everybody hates me. I'm guessing we need 50% of the vote. Presumably, right? Okay, Miracle on the Pearl River. What are we at right now? 22.3. We have like two months that earn a lot of money. Which I don't know how well that's going to work for us. 5%, 7.5%. And you know what? Can we do like a little bit of corruption? Just like a, like a hair? Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of corruption if it lets me sell air conditioners. You know what I mean? Do I want to push it forward? I think I do. Sometime after the forced resettlement, the Lee family was immersed full force into the harsh life of the average Koshu worker. Lee Chum was no exception. Within weeks of moving to the city, he was uh, working backbreaking hours in a Japanese-owned factory. Mistakes were immediately docked from his pay, uh, which was disastrous given that his pay was barely enough for rent as it was. Chun was desperate. He wanted to make some more money and be recognized. He saw an improvement that could be made in the process and pointed out to his Zujin foreman, the man who called himself Saga. The man nodded appreciatively and said thanks. At that, Chun's uh, heart rose hopefully. Maybe this will earn him some more pay, maybe enough to feed his family. Maybe it'll be, uh, might even be enough to send Wei and Hai to school. In retrospect, Chun would say he should have realized that this wasn't to be. The next day, Chun heard and saw the Fujian supervisor getting a pat on his back from the Japanese foreman as the uh, process that Chun had suggested was implemented across the factory. And Chun realized that the Fujian ambassador had taken the credit for himself, his rule became gray and his disjack deepened. Uh, he didn't even bother focusing on the rest of the day. Mistakes matter not. There was no hope anyways. And I will say that with this, I will say that with this, this. anyway, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end off this episode. So if you enjoyed, I think it's going to be a, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time to end up. Subscribe if you like it. See you next time. Goodbye.